Hello, world. We're surprising my boyfriend with ow. <laughs> with a bathroom makeover. Let's get into it. So this bathroom pains me to be in. It is our downstairs bathroom, AKA Jared's bathroom, because it's right next to his office and his studio. Looks like a hotel bathroom. It's just very plain, outdated. Like everything hurts to be around. But my inspiration for this makeover was actually these two portraits of our cats, Larry and Leo. And I thought, how fun would it be to have like a jungly, row themed bath? I know that's like very specific. But everything we are using today is from Burke Decor, who has been amazing in helping me with the redesign. You must check out Burke Decor. Their stuff is just so modern and affordable and very cool, very fashionable. So let's get started. I think what I'm gonna start with is taking off the big pieces, which is like the mirror, the um, medicine cabinet. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but everything is renter friendly because we do rent, so. Starting with taking out this cabinet that they put in. Very easy. It's got four little screws holding it. Now we do the lights. I also removed the towel bar. This just seems like such a generic, like cheap piece. We're gonna put something nicer. So the peel and stick wallpaper I chose, I'm so excited to show you guys. It's crazy. It's a crazy pattern, crazier than anything I've ever picked before. From Burke Decor. This is our pattern. I told you I'm going like jungle theme. I just think it's so cool. And there's a lot of it. So now we do the peel and stick. Hold up, place go up when I pull up. They all on me like a once. So like a classic bisexual who's really bad at math, I think I gave the wrong square footage of what the bathroom is for the peel and stick. Cause it's only half of the bathroom. <laughs> Oops, that does put a little bit of time damping on this situation, but do you love? Because I love so far. Obviously, peel and stick can be a little testy, but just based on the 11 years that I've been renting in Los Angeles, this brand has by far been the easiest. I'm like the pull and reapply method and getting out all the bubbles and the kinks and stuff. This was by far the easiest. And all you have to do to get out the bubbles is rub on it with your arm. So I'm really excited about how it's turning out. I think it's so fun. So the one thing I can do while we wait for more wallpaper is put in our new towel bar, which looks so cool. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this is our new towel bar. How chic is it? We've got this like acrylic bar, these big chunky gold metal pieces. And I'm going to try and use the already built in place. So you can see on the wallpaper right here. Oh my gosh, it's like the exact right size. A towel wipes in. How cute is this? How stinking cute. And she's really sturdy. I'm gonna put towels on her. Gorgeous, affordable, really good for soaking up water. Remember how I said do all the wallpaper before you put your fixtures in? I don't know that I have that time now that I know how much wallpaper I'm missing. So I think I'm gonna put in at least the lights and the cabinet so we can like still use the bathroom. I am about to install this new vanity light, which I'm so jazzy about. It's very like Hollywood, luxe, luxe jungle is what I discovered this room is going to look like. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put the mounting plate on and hopefully try and use the same wiring anchor mounting spots that they used. Cross your fingers. Now I'm putting the light bulbs in. The moment of truth is will they turn on? <laughs> okay, moment of truth. <gasps> okay, now we can put the balls on. So excited because I thought I ordered more towels by accident. It's a shower curtain that matches the towels. Plus, I already have a plastic lining on this, so I think it's gonna look really cozy. I'm obsessed. It looks so cozy. 
it's the perfect length. And I just added my plastic liner on the back. We already had this for our other shower curtain, so these just went right on. Okay, so we are rounding out end of day one. I don't wanna do a full review, but I am so in love with where this is going. I think I might install our little medicine cabinet after I get more wallpaper. Unless I just can't sit still tonight, then I will do it. I know I said I was done for the day, but I lied. This is like the easiest how to install. It's literally this bracket. And then we hang this gorgeous new medicine cabinet. So I'm just gonna do it. And we'll build the wallpaper around it because we don't know when it's coming in and I wanna see what it looks like. Mm. So putting in anchors for uh, nails and screws is actually really easy. I feel like for years I've been hanging stuff that needed anchors and I just was like, I don't know how to do it so I'm just not going to. And then you get a drill kit and it comes with everything you need. So all you need is a drill kit and you put in the size of the hole you want to make to put the anchor in. And then I'm going to place where I want to put the anchors. I'm basically using the last uh, install as my guide and just going over the center of the toilet. Correct, I'm just making a trace. And then I am going to drill a hole first. we can hammer in our anchors to those holes. We're gonna put up our, and I'm just gonna drill this in now. Hmm, that's suspicious. Uh-oh, my anchor fell through the wall. <laughs> this was the one thing I was like so confident about. Everything I said about anchors being easy is a lie. I'm gonna put it in without anchors. Which is not a good idea, because this drywall just does not hold. I mean, how did they do those? Okay, I'm doing it without the anchors, and it's really holding well. It's very sturdy in here. So I'm not too worried about that drywall, after all. And now, we just hang it, like a painting. It's also not that heavy, which is nice. And it's reversible, so you can hang it this way or this way, depending on which way you want the door to open. So for our new mirror, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the anchor that they have in here in the last mirror, I'm gonna move it over just a smidge, let that be our center point. And now, you the kits I bought that I'm going to string through our new mirror's latches to hang this upon. So this is about all the tools I've used. This is going to be our picture hanging kit. I've used some extra screws and nuts and things like that from here. Hammer and our drill, which I have two. That one's just lighter than this one, which is why I use it sometimes. Now I'm gonna take this, measure it, run our little wire through it, and then hang it. I think this gold works so well with our colors. And it's the right height right now. Underneath the lamp, well, we'll see. Because Jared and I are tall boys and we need a tall mirror. So the best part is that the rest of the wallpaper game and the best part about putting it up is all of the things we installed on our day one come off so easy. Like all I have to do is take these right off their hangers and we can now finish this last So I'm going to continue from the pattern that's in the corner of the room since we've already finished more than half the room. Okay, some people will tell you there's definitely a better way to do this, but I basically just cut around these and since I know the cabinet is gonna go over this, I'm not so worried about the bubbles, plus it's nice and smooth at the bottom. Same with the cutout of the light. I think I did pretty good. 
oh, I gotta cut that top extra piece. But now I'll just put it back in the mirror. And again, not so minding where these little bubbles are because this is where the mirror will go. So for these more funky spots, I'm gonna try something where I'm going to pin this up and try and cut it out like a cookie cutter. Hooray, almost done. Just gotta do these two little slivers. Does it feel like this you're kind sweet. of in a nightclub? Yeah. But like a jungle nightclub? Jungle nightclub. Is the mirror tall enough for you? Um, we sure. might have to make it a little higher. <laughs> a little higher, yeah. <laughs> so this wow. was all given to us by Burke Decor. I think they really nailed it. Do you like the new medicine cabinet? Whoa. <laughs> Very fresh. Yeah. I love it. And there's the new curtain. Yeah, this is sweet actually. This matches this really nicely. Yep. Wow. And the new lighting fixture I did all by myself. This is sweet. And then. Those are sweet. Ah, nice little hanger. This Perfect. is your bathroom. I love it. Yeah. Sweet. High five. Thank you. You're welcome.